What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. When it rains, it pours. Recently we heard about how Best Buy was getting rid of their physical media when it came to movies and I said, hey, at least it's not video games. Those are being untouched for now. And then we have this information coming to us from the CEO of Limited Run Games, Josh Fairhurst, replying on Twitter to that story of Wario sharing it, saying that he's heard rumors that Walmart will now be removing their Xbox physical games from stores as soon as later 2024. I'm not a big fan of this direction at all. Smash JT. New to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full breakdown of this information coming to us from Josh Fairhurst, the CEO of Limited Run Games. But for this video, I'm going to talk about what he said, a few other replies he had that were fairly interesting, especially when it comes to GameStop, and other things that transpired here, and what this means for the future of physical games. According to Josh Fairhurst, the CEO of Limited Run Games, he took to Twitter disclosing what he's heard about Walmart's future plans in a reply to Wario64 sharing Digital Bits report that Best Buy would be stop selling physical media as soon as quarter one 2024. Josh said, I expect to see this trend continue in 2024. I've heard rumblings that Walmart is dropping physical Xbox games soon, and I have to imagine further cuts to physical gaming sections will be made as we get deeper into next year. So like I said in my video of covering the Best Buy stuff that Walmart doesn't really have much of a video game section these days. And I even mentioned that the Xbox game section is fairly limited because Microsoft has been trying to push people to Game Pass for what feels like ever since the Xbox Series S and X released. Now we find ourselves at the point where it's actually happening, if this is to be believed. Now, right now I have to disclose that it's just a rumor because it hasn't been mentioned directly by Walmart, but John Fairhurst is the CEO of Limited Run Games. He's someone who has his ear to the ground and in constant contact with a lot of the distributors and companies in the area of physical games. So when he speaks on Twitter saying he hears rumblings that Walmart is going to be removing Xbox games, you kind of got to listen to that. I don't think Microsoft really cares about physical. I think they've shown that time and time again over the years that physical games aren't really where they see the future. If anything, they've done the complete opposite, pushing people as hard as possible to adopt PC. When they put out the Xbox and said that they'd be putting everything cross-platform between Windows PCs and the Xbox, that was Exhibit A for they didn't really care about gaming consoles. They wanted to use it as a means to an end, an avenue to transfer players that use consoles to PC gaming. PC gaming doesn't really use discs anymore. Right now, it's all about Steam and the Microsoft Store and everywhere else where you can download games on your computer. And you have to remember, Microsoft's playing the long game here, where they make the money off selling licenses for Windows. So they don't care what PC you're gaming on. As long as you buy a Windows PC, they're making money every time that happens. Assuming you pay for the license and, you know, don't get a jailbroken one or go through other means. But the point being here is Microsoft wants people on PC because they know that's where the money is for them. This whole thing is making me take a step back and look at Xbox consoles as almost like a Trojan horse for getting gamers to migrate to PC without them even knowing. And this story right here coming from Josh Fairhurst saying that Walmart is going to be removing physical Xbox games from their store should tell you that. And while the digitalization has been steadily encroaching upon all aspects of our lives, let's be honest here, its effect on the gaming world has been particularly noticeable. With the advent of cloud streaming services and the release of digital-only consoles by tech behemoths like Sony and Microsoft, physical copies of games are starting to feel more like relics of the past than must-have items for a lot of gamers. Now, obviously collectors, and people like me and you watching this video most likely, appreciate physical games, like the tangibility of holding it in your hand and having the knowledge that you own it and can sell it and do whatever the hell you want with it without worrying about it being taken offline by these game companies. As we step further into 2024, Fairhurst predicts Walmart, along with possibly other retail players, will continue to shrink their physical gaming sections. If these claims prove accurate, this could be a monumental shift in the gaming industry. 
catalyzing a full transition to digital formats and cloud-based gaming services. But like I said in my Best Buy video when them removing the physical media with movies is concerned, I feel like there's always going to be a place for physical games. And if one of these big three tech giants goes away from that completely, collectors and physical purists and people that like to tangibly hold actual cartridges and discs will migrate to what is available. And at some point, the games won't matter. It's the tangible aspect of what you can hold in your hand. Now, there's obviously a lot of nuance to that take. I don't want to say it's a black and white across the board. If Xbox comes out with like the most killer app, greatest game in the history of gaming and it's only digital, I guess, yeah, I'm going to have to get it on that aspect because that's the only way that I'm able to play it and enjoy it. But short of that, I'm going to be migrating to what consoles offer the physical games. I don't really care too much about the graphics. I care about the gameplay, the storyline, the entertainment value that I pull out of the experience. As of now, Walmart has not confirmed any of these claims. The mere possibility, though, has already sparked a flurry of debates within the gaming community. Is the era of physical gaming drawing to a close? Or is there still room for both digital and physical formats to coexist? Only time will tell. And that's strictly with Walmart, Target, big box stores, companies like that that don't make their money from these games. It's simply a, a slice of access that they afford people to purchase as an aside to going to the store for other things. But this doesn't take into account the aspect of other stores, strictly game stores like GameStop that sell actual physical games. Crystal posted on Twitter, you guys should partner up with GameStop. I and lots of other gamers shop there, to which Josh replied, we've been talking with them. Nothing set in stone though. But that's a little bit of a teaser, and if you pair that with GameStop and what they tweeted previously last week saying Forever Physical, which is kind of the tagline of what Limited Run Games always says, there's clearly something going on between the two parties. And if that is to be the case, like I've called for multiple times in videos previously where I said GameStop should buy Limited Run Games. This is a long time ago, but I'm saying now GameStop should definitely partner up with Limited Run Games to be selling physical games at their locations. Josh talked about how Best Buy used to be their Limited Run Games partner and they burned their contract and screwed them over. So it only makes sense for Limited Run Games to be looking for another partner as we move forward here. And GameStop would be a likely option for that, which means that there still would be an option to purchase physical games from a game store for those that want them, in addition to Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, online stores, all that kind of stuff. Physical has a place in this world for gaming. It's just a matter of where you're going to go to get them when we move forward into the next generation. And like I said, if Xbox moves forward with a completely digital option and nothing else, that is going to be the last console I'm going to be looking at to play. And if anything, I'll play the games on my PC. If they're that good, I already have a PC. I don't really understand Microsoft's direction and approach with this. It's almost like they don't care if they burn the entire video game industry to the ground. As long as they migrate people to the PC where they make money. They don't care what you're playing. They don't care what games you want. They just want you to play on PC. I don't feel like their heart is in the right place currently. And maybe that's just me, but going away from physical, purchasing Activision Blizzard, screwing with Sony, screwing with Nintendo, it's just there's a lot of weird stuff going around with Microsoft right now that I'm not the biggest fan of, and I don't like the direction of where they're putting the video game industry right now. That can change, and hopefully it does, but as of right now, that's the story on the Walmart discontinuing physical Xbox games as soon as 2024. Not sure of a time or when it's going to take place, but if Josh Fairhurst, the CEO of Limited Run Games, is to be believed, this is a really big deal, and hopefully is not the first domino to fall of many, but I can't help but think of the slippery slope that could exist if this move is successful for Microsoft. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash, 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 smash.